It's time to end this. Now! Stop! Uh, no! The core! No. Stay away! Don't come any closer! Uh. A hero's journey rises and falls. Their quest for the light in which the rainbow calls. My journey cannot end, not until I face that of which is unbreakable. It's time to end this now! Em, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry it has to end like this. You, you, you. I can't try to approach you. What is happening? We're being deflected, repelled. Come here! Step forward now! What? Why? What's happening, Em? It's not like you probably know. But he can't approach us. I don't know! Huh? Wait. The core. You think it has something to do with that? You two. What are you doing? What is this? Oh, maybe. Assistant Steve spoke of it like it was the future. The first curse has existed since the beginning, right? Or at least near it. Maybe, maybe this is what he's weak at. The core must be repelling him somehow. This energy, it's not compatible with him. It makes sense. We escaped his armor because of this prototype teleporter that has the same energy in it. It's the thing that he's weak to. You, this core you speak of, you think I'm gonna let this stop me? Stop my goals? No. This is what's stopping me? That giant ball behind you? Well, if that's what's stopping me, then I better stop it. Isn't that right? What? No! Stop! Uh, no! The core! No! Oh, no. The core. What did he do to it? What did you do? Simple. I used power to shut it down. You think that scares me? Something that needs to be maintained by others. Something that needs to be taken care of. For generations, I've worked on power far stronger than where this is. I destroyed it. Broke it. So simply. It repelled me for such short moments. But now, it's gone. And so will you! No, stay away! Don't come any closer! Huh? huh? Time? I believe your time harassing these people must come to an abrupt halt, sir. Time? Time, did you, did you freeze his time state? Whoa. Time, it's been so long. It won't hold, but let's go. No, wait, time. Hang on. We can't yet. We can't go yet. Not just us three. You, you control sign. I will destroy you. Okay, fine. What do we need to do? I need you to take someone else with us. We can't leave them here. That robot, Assistant Steve. We have to take him with us. We can't leave him behind. Ugh. Thank you. I will release from this bond. And then I will hunt you down. Let's go. Shut up, dude. Come on. Uh, okay. Well, are we okay? Let me get the lights. One moment. Huh. We're out of there. Oh my gosh, I thought we were gonna be goners. Well, we made it, Em. We actually made it? Huh. Well, this is a problem. Let me see if I can start him up again. Em, 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 um, maybe, maybe don't? He was trying to activate his safety parameters. Basically, he was trying to self-destruct the core. Maybe if you do, you have to make sure you start him up without those being activated. I don't know if you know how to, but I mean... 
you probably know better than either me or T Time Steve, so I mean, welcome back, you two. Yeah, I I'll see what I can do. Okay. Time. Uh, I can't believe you, you showed up. Well, just in time. Thank you. Huh. Yeah, I am. Um, well, well, uh, I don't know what to say, man. I got your, I got your note. In more important news, I have a new coat. <laughs> yeah, wow. It looks great, dude. I love it. Really fashionable. Um, hey, is that a dog over here? <laughs> Aw, hi, doggy. How you doing? You're so cute. Hey, when did you get a dog? He's adorable. That's Leaf. Leaf? Why does that sound familiar? I can't quite put my tongue on it, though. Elemental's dog. Oh, you took him in, huh? That's really nice of you, Time. Well, I'm sure he's happy to still have a home, you know? I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I had to scavenge the remains of his dimension to find him. So you went there? Time, that must have been rough, man. I mean, you... where it was. I'm guessing without him maintaining it, it was probably not as well kept, huh? <clears throat> well, um, hey, listen. When you left, when you left, I got your note. I read it, and, um, I understood why you had to go. I hope, I hope the time you've been gone, you've had time to, you know, think and, and even mourn. The, the villagers in that village, the, the Steves, they all left me a note and a bunch of flowers to pay their respects to both you and I. Even though what Elemental did to them, they, they still cared. Yeah, I've slowed myself down, literally, to deal with it within a shorter time. Well, that's time, Steve, for you. Your dimension's still looking just as good. I guess you've been doing a great job on the upkeep, so that's a good thing. Same old, same old. You know, Time, I, I, missed, I missed having you around. There's been a lot going on. Em over there, I mean, he, I missed you as well. Look, I don't wanna force you to come in and start helping on a bunch of stuff like you did before all over again. And you know, if you wanna take time away, it's okay, I understand. But I did this on my own accord, I'm ready. Well, you were ready just in time because we were about to be in huge trouble. I'm assuming you kept an eye on me, huh? Or else how else would you have saved me there? That first curse, he, uh, he's awful. Yeah, I've been trying to find the right time to show up. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <clears throat> well, um, that first curse, he's, I think he's our, our next major problem. So the unnamed is the first curse. Spooky. Yeah, he tricked me. When you had left, Steve's had been endangered. They were being attacked in that village. And, well, I got desperate. The unnamed, he tricked me. I loosened one of his chains and, well, you know what happened now. Well, let's get to work helping them. It's not gonna be so easy. Something's wrong. Speaking of, what's up, Time? I am I know you need a lot of answers, uh, but I'm here for you. What's that guy's deal? Oh, well, um, which one? Uh. Redstone boyo. Ah, yeah, Assistant Steve. Well, you know the professor, right? Well, Professor Red apparently created him. Assistant Steve isn't technically even a Steve. He's a robot. Yeah, the cool guy, nice coat. Um, you know, there's more to a person than a coat. You know that, right? But either way, he is a nice guy. So he did create his own friend. I guess so. Assistant Steve's also nice. He's a good guy, but called it, <laughs> I guess. Either way, there's a big problem, and I think we all need to come together and figure this out. Em, how's it going over here? You figure this out yet? Because, uh, you're- I'm getting a little worried. You sure this is gonna work? He's shut down all systems except his backup computing systems. That's a- that's a bad thing, right? I can try and take a look if you'd like. I'm trying to reboot them. Yeah, um, please do. Okay, time. Be careful. Wait, hey, time, before you do, just remember, if you accidentally turn them on and, um, you didn't swap off his safety parameters, he's gonna try and blow everything up. So, good luck. I don't, I don't know what, I, I feel like that wasn't very supportive. Yeah, okay, disable safety jazz. Hey, M, I appreciate you trying to work on assistance, Steve. Oh, he also fried one of his circuits. Have to replace that. Oh, wonderful. Another thing going wrong. Um, well, hey, I appreciate you working on this and trying to help out, especially with everything being so confusing. It's all right. Okay, well, Hey, I should tell both of you guys exactly what's going on. This guy is pretty simple. Okay, well, just be careful, okay? I think you feel like he's simple, but there's probably more things to him than you'd imagine. I mean, he is pretty much just a Steve, created by someone. Hey, so, Time, do you think you can turn him on? Or what's the deal here? We're gonna have to. There's kind of something I need to tell you, Time, and uh, you're not gonna like it. Hopefully, first glances look simple. Um, hey, hey, Time. Not to rush you, uh, but, um, 
I'm pretty sure, you know, that core that we were down and you saved us, that location? Well, um, M, I think you already know this. Actually, you might not. Yeah. Well, if the core turns off or is broken, apparently within like 10 or 15 minutes, it will, uh, it will melt down and explode and, uh, destroy everything. No, oh, yeah, that. Y yeah. Oh, haha. <laughs> Speed time. Yep. Yeah, okay, okay, well, okay, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need to hurry up and wake up Assistant Steve. He might be the only one willing to work on the core, or able to at least. Oh, okay, he's really doing it. Yeah, he also has all data bank backups from pretty much everything in this world. Well, not this world. Wake up! So if we lose him, yeah, we lose a lot. Command 136. What? Command 7. Yep. What? Time? What do you. Command 606. That's not how that works. Command one, are you, is he hacking into assistant Steve right now? I don't understand what he's doing. Yeah, uh, time, Steve? Command one. Systems, now booting up. Huh? That worked? What? Time, called it. I, you did it. Systems functioning, missing one capacitor, but still functioning. Were you guessing? I honestly don't even wanna know. Don't give me that answer, time. Maybe, I linked up functions to commands. I, Oh, yeah. Here's that back, assistant. Wait, what? Then guessed. You then guessed? What if he's trying to blow up everything? Fear not, morons. I am not going to activate my safety parameters. This Steve here has successfully stopped that. Yeah, it worked, didn't it? I, 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 okay, look, it doesn't matter. What matters right now is we have a problem. The first curse is by the core, okay? The first curse intends to destroy probably the core as he already shut it down, but he also wants to destroy us. I don't know if he's still there, but we have to go back. The core is gonna melt down in like 10 minutes or something, man. We sure he's still there? Assistant, do you sense any life forms there? Unable to sense anything. I am not in the overworld. My sensors rely on Red Kingdom tech. Okay. Well, um, that's, that's a problem. Well, I mean, if the guy was repelled by the core, oh, right, time, that's the problem. The core is turned off. It can't, he's not being repelled anymore. We have to fix it. Destroying it could, you know, hurt him if it explodes. <clears throat> time, I don't think, uh, I don't think you understand this. That would be the end of the Red Kingdom. I would like to follow up that information with more knowledge. Fact, the core will explode larger than the Red Kingdom. I want to clarify that. It just will destroy the Red Kingdom, but it will extend past that. Huh, how much more? Unable to compute. The core's energy systems are new and unreliable to tech with. So you're saying that you've never actually tried to like do anything, figure that out. Why would I? It is not my problem. Well. He's got a point. It's not really his problem. What's the blast density of the explosion, boyo? Uh, yeah, I mean, do you know that? Unable to calculate. What I do know is that the core will explode very shortly. We have to fix it. We have to get back there. Even if it means that we have to somehow get the first curse out of there. Assistant Steve, the first curse turned it off. Could you fix it? Any relative number I can use? Time Steve, is it? I see you are trying to run calculations and act smart. I will not give you knowledge on that behalf. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's really uh, full of himself. Bruh, I, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Okay, see, the thing is, while the Red Kingdom is far and hidden, what's to say it won't hit any other kingdoms? Well, on the good news is, uh, not, uh, not really anyone's gonna be in danger, technically. If the core blows up, everyone's gone. Oh, M, you don't know that. Right, um, M, everyone's gone. M, how big would that explosion be? M, as you call him, would not know. Please, stop asking that time. You do not have the capacity to understand this explosion. He's he's annoying like that, man. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just gonna stop talking. Hey, for the record, you did fix him. So, I mean, technically you're smart enough to do that, man. Look, I'm on your side time, okay? Hard to say. The longer the core is charging, the bigger the explosion, from what I know. I regret it. Listen, while the core may not exactly hurt anyone, I think there's another problem. Yes. That will be a problem, Saber. You are correct. I didn't even say it yet. You did not need to. It is true. The core produces a large amount of pollution. That pollution is being stored and stopped within the core's boundaries. But should it explode, it will basically, well, it will result in a nuclear fallout throughout the entire world. And there it is. There is what I didn't want to hear. Yeah, he can think faster than we can, which gives the illusion of reading minds. <sighs> it's kind of annoying, but 
Since Steve's right, we can't just let it explode. Even if we get all the Steves back from the armor, the world will be basically poisoned. I can think faster than all of you- No, you cannot. Please, stop attempting to do that time, Steve. You can control time, not minds, or computation power. That is my forte. All right, can we just all calm down? Listen, we need to get back to the core. Assistant Steve, uh, the first curse. He, well, he disconnected the core from probably everything else that's holding it together. I don't know how much, but just assuming that it's disconnected from everything, how long would it take to put that together? Calculating. Please wait. Okay, well, while he's calculating, if we can buy him time, I know it's a lot to ask, but time. Um, we may have to distract the first curse. Get him out of there. At least long enough for Assistant Steve to be able to do his thing. Perfect. Calculated. I will need approximately five minutes to reconnect everything. You have to keep him away from the machines and the systems. I can teleport us silently there. Told you I'd learn. Plus, well, we've got more help. M's mastered it as well. Wait, that's perfect. Wait, how did you learn? That's true. No Red Steve taught you. Did you practice that much? It hasn't been that long, right, time? Science. That actually works out. Two people here can silently teleport. Okay, I have an idea. You know what? Story for another time. Assistant Steve, if you can do it, then I have a plan. Everybody, listen up. Here's how this is gonna go down. First, 